Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's con uh, let's continue. Let's create a new branch, zero point nine. And today I want to do something very specific. Okay, I want to be able to open programs um, using this virtual assistant. I'm going to, need to close this one, and let's open up the new version. So let's go to readme dot uh, here. So functionality, let's talk about functionality. Uh, we're going to be able to open programs, okay? So we're going to add another entity into our data set. And we actually already have this um, here. Uh, maybe we, f you sh we should think about adding more um, things I need to take a moment not to think what I'm gonna do which is going to be we gotta do another into core we're gonna create a new folder in core let's create a new file which is going to be we're gonna uh, go with system system is a good name system okay let's go with system system.py okay uh and functionality okay let's go with this okay we actually have this one but i don't want to mess with this now okay so what we're gonna do now is uh open programs okay open programs so later i'm gonna focus on um sites and other things but for now we're gonna fuck some problems so i'm gonna go with the here i'm gonna uh, add another command and let's say that i want to go with open notepad and open chrome okay and system what system is gonna do uh if you if let's go we need to go backwards okay uh i need to remove this i need to do something here maybe here dev uh, process for or void void text you know cut this okay Okay. Here we could definitely try to add the text into the, the screen or something like that. But I want to go with the function that we want to implement in this video. So we got uh, we already got this those functions. So if a if entity equals equals we don't have the we're not going to pass the entire here on the classifier. We're not given the, the oh, none. Okay, it should be none here. Should be none here. Okay. I'm going to pass none. And none. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I... I won't be able to recognize which command we're gonna do here because we're doing just classification. If we were doing regression, trying to predict the sequence of characters, it would be more interesting. So now let's go. I need to remove this right now. Um, okay. So if so equals to open, I'm gonna do. Um, let's create an imp uh, import from core. Import system uh let's go with run system lock runner okay class runner 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 have in it so let's that's multiple ways that run and self and program okay so there's multiple ways of running programs in Python, but we need to create something that is it is interesting and just let me break this down. 
so we're gonna come here dot system import runner okay let's create a new runner runner equals new runner so and we need to do some text processing basic text processing we're gonna do uh text equals text dot uh we need to identify okay it's, it's getting complicated okay let me see we could actually run uh, add the uh, the program to the data set uh we shouldn't maybe we should do that but i don't think you guys should do this definitely let's go with this okay let's do it but we could change this down the down the line it's just for uh i don't need uh, google chrome just chrome uh chrome so this is not a good way to do it, but I want to do it now. And later I can change this. So if we go with Notepad, we should have this class we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to do it this way by now. Let's go with Pass. I need to figure out a better way to do this. The better way of doing this would be doing text, um, a sequence to sequence model that predicts the text that we're trying to run, which is what I want to do, but I don't have the compute power now to do this. So we're going to go with this, okay? And Python open programs. Going to go with here. And let's see what we got. Okay, we're gonna do sub process. Here you guys can see how it goes. Uh let's import these two modules. Go here. Okay. I'm gonna go to GitHub adding open programs programs function uh we should uh run that uh, in this case we're gonna go with notepad and to what run notepad we're gonna do system dot uh, okay here which is quite basic but should do the trick and let's pick okay opening notepad okay so i've done it uh let's uh we need to train the model again let's run this clip uh this script to train the model this model trains quite fast um because it's a small model now let's go to main.py and let's see what we got. Open Notepad. Open Notepad. Hmm, interesting. Oh, oh, I see. I'm not calling the function evol evaluate. Okay. So let's go with evaluate text. And there we go. I'm gonna move this back here. Oh no, I lost the the text. Okay. Now we should be able to run uh, open Notepad. Let's just do a prof proof of concept. Open Notepad. It works uh let's add all okay opening notepad okay it's and uh, we should uh first run the speak command and then open notepad should be better the date is day 12 month 29 and year 2020. can okay, need to stop the program let's run again open notepad 
Okay, opening notepad. Okay, works. Uh, let's add another. Okay, opening notepad. Oh, okay. No, I don't want to open notepad. Let's add Chrome now. Uh, so you guys can see that we could do this way. I could add other variants here with the same open notepad, uh, start notepad, and we could do this. And I'm going to go with start Chrome also. I'm going to do with start and open start. Okay. Uh, to get Chrome, I need to get address to Chrome. Just a moment, guys. Which is in uh, programs, uh, Google, Chrome, application. Here's the path. You guys just need to go to the Chrome uh, here and go with security. Copy this address. Copy and close this. Let's go with Elif. Entity equals equals. Uh, not this one. Open. Uh, open slash slash Chrome. Let's do OS dot system. The path. And let's copy. Opening Chrome, Google Chrome. Okay, should be neat now. I need to run the model again to, to train the entity classifier. And I'm going to see all the prompt that I want to open up. Maybe me to play classic. Uh, let's run man now. Open Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Oh, I see. We weren't able to recognize the path. Should the date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Okay, it did recognize Open Chrome, but we need to be able to run the that. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Okay, opening Notepad. Okay, we need to, to finish this. <laughs> we need to finish this. Okay, let's go back. Open Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Okay, uh, we got a problem, which is the format. We need to add double slashes. Let's try again. Open Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Hmm, we got a problem. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Okay, it's recognizing gibberish because we didn't create a huge data set. We need more data. Uh, let's try to invert the, the path, maybe. We should invert the path to avoid the slash slash conflict. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it should work. Open Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Nope, still doesn't work. Um... Let's try this. Open Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Nope. Okay, opening Notepad. Okay, we got a problem here. Uh, we need, gotta try fix this. Uh, let me see. Uh, we do have the path though. Let me try to do C dot. Let's comment this. 
let's do if we do OS dot system C dot we do this we should get the file explorer oh I see open Chrome okay opening Google Chrome okay we got a problem guys we weren't able to recognize the okay the opening Google Chrome oh uh, we gotta figure this out um, let me see let's go to Google Python C path problem Let's go with problem. Windows Path saying Python. Mm, interesting. Okay, let me see, let me see. There's two slashes there, but it does not work here. I need to have error. How do we got by the name? Let's try this. C and programs. Let me try this one, guys. Man, this uh Python thing uh with uh Windows folder is not good. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Okay, it's not recognizing now my voice. Um, let's go. Let's try again. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Notepad. Okay, opening Notepad. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Open Chrome. The date is day 12, month 29, and year 2020. Okay, maybe I should just add Chrome. So, oh, there's also Star. Star Chrome. Okay, opening Google Chrome. Oh, uh, C program is not recognized internal or external command appearances of red operable program or batch file. Okay, we got a problem here, guys. Um, I need to figure this out. I think I'm just going to leave to the next video. Next video, I'm going to go with some more interesting stuff. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys are finding this this playlist um useful for you guys should uh you guys could uh, leave a like and subscribe so thank you for watching see you guys next time